Ladies and gentlemen, good day. We are back. We are in lesson two. We will go straight into reading of a German text. So pay attention and listen to how I pronounce the words. So, um, Daddy, please, can we go to the beach today? Please, please, please. Beach? You want us to go yeah. to the beach? Let's go to visit the castle. Are you sure? Yeah. You want us to go to the castle? Yes. Okay. And we want to go close to the castle. We're going to ask you some questions okay. about it. Before then, <laughs> you've brought yourself. I want you to read what is on the board. We are reading, we are learning to um, read, write, and speak German all over the world. Everybody in the world is listening. So I want you to read what you feel I've written here. Okay? Aha. Uh -huh. So you, you start first. Wait. All right. Read what you think I have written there. Let me hear. Let the whole world listen to you. Do your best. Go. Robert, Robert Clark is Kaufmann. Er is Englander. Er is King Dutcher. Sin Buru, Buru is in London. Er won't appear next in London. Der Borot would the family black. Want is to wait niche with one London. Herr Lang Clark is the heretic. Heretic. Sin Frau Hebitz. I'm French, so. Helen Clark. So, so. So, so. Herr und Frau Clark haben wir. Okay, uh, yeah. Once about to ask. So you to come and continue. Let me see how you all read. Ghana for me chremo chi, me chremo Dutch. The Ghana Navy or person who is German Casabiano. On joining na we in Sia German. Now within a within three months, it's out to me a kind, a ka, a chro. Now to be chro, as I'm scrap for you, at me now with a echo Germany. Enti yanko yanim. Roderick, it's your turn. Read and let me hear. Let the whole world listen to you. Go. Robert Clark is Kaufman. Er is Ken Dutcher. Sian Guru is in London. Yeah, I'm pretty sure so. Er wants a very niche in London. Der Barat was that family club. What is next? Red one London. Her blood is very, very irritated. Sia Frau hates her link luck. Her one Frau luck has been weird. Can that swear? Clapping and swear. Macho. Okay, you didn't read as it must be read. So this is how um, somebody who doesn't know how to read German will read it. Everywhere in the world, if you have not been taught how to read German, this is how you will read it. Now, these are children. They've done their best. I'm now going to teach the whole world, including my children, how to read German text properly. I've explained it in, I've written it in German and written it also in English. So when we know how to pronounce the words as they must be pronounced in German, then um, we will get used to um, speaking and reading and writing within a short time. So we are beginning immediately. Um, Latzlo and Roddick, if you will, 
you may repeat it after me, just as the whole world is repeating it after me. To those who are glued behind their computers and their TVs and their phones, who are learning German with me, we are in lesson two. And when I pronounce it or when I read it, you read it after me. After that, we will look at the English version. Thank you. Wer ist Herr Clark? Wer ist Herr Clark? Wer ist Herr Clark? Wer ist Herr Clark? Robert Clark ist Kaufmann. Robert Clark ist Kaufmann. Robert Clark ist Kaufmann. Robert Clark ist Kaufmann. Er ist Engländer. Er ist Engländer. Er ist kein Deutscher. Er ist kein Deutscher. Sein Büro ist in London. Sein Büro ist in London. Er wohnt aber nicht in London. Er wohnt aber nicht in London. The four odds. Mention it. The four odds. The four odds. Wo die Familie Clark wohnt. Wo die Familie Clark wohnt. Ist nicht weit von London. Ist nicht weit von London. You didn't read it well, so repeat it. The four odds. The four odds. Wo die Familie Clark wohnt. Wo die Familie Clark wohnt. Ist nicht weit von London. Ist nicht weit. Mention it properly. Ist nicht. Ist nicht weit von London. Ist nicht weit von London. If you don't read it well, <laughs> Germans insist on proper pronunciation of their words. So when you are reading or speaking German or writing German, make sure you write it exactly as they want to hear. That is why I want you to read it properly. Ist nicht weit von London. Repeat it. Ist. 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 Nicht weit von London. Okay, so this means the suburb, the suburb where the family Clark lives is not far from London. It is here. I will come to that place later. But I want you to read it clearly. So I'll read it once through and you will read it before we continue. The four ort wo die Familie Clark wohnt, ist nicht weit von London. The war. Okay, you can't read. The whole world has been able to read it nicely. You are still children. So we will continue. I'm teaching from my own home and I expect my children to follow. If you are able to follow, the whole world will also follow with you. If you are not able to follow, it means that they are also not following. So I want you to be able to read it as I'm teaching you. The four odds wo the Familie Clark wohnt. The four odds wo the Familie Clark wohnt. Ist nicht weit. Ist nicht weit. Von London. Von London. Okay, now we go. Herr Clark ist verheiratet. Herr Clark ist verheiratet. Verheiratet means married. Mr. Clark is married. Herr, Herr Clark ist verheiratet. Herr Clark ist verheiratet. Seine Frau heißt Helen Clark. Seine Frau heißt Helen Clark. Seine Frau heißt Helen Clark. Seine ha Frau heißt Helen Clark. 
Herr und Frau Clark. Herr und Frau Clark. Frau. Okay, it is difficult. So I'm reading through. Herr und Frau Clark haben vier Kinder. Zwei Knaben und zwei Mädchen. Die Knaben heißen Karl und Wilhelm. Mr. and Mrs. Clark have four children. Two boys and two girls. The boys are called Carl and Wilhelm. So I'll pronounce it short. I'll cut it in small bits so that you'll be able to follow. Herr und Frau Clark haben. Yes, let's go. Herr und Frau Clark. Herr und Frau Clark haben vier Kinder. Haben vier Kinder. Zwei Knaben. Zwei Knaben. Und zwei Mädchen. Und zwei Mädchen. Die Knaben. Die Knaben heißen. Heißen. Karl und Wilhelm. Carl and Wilhelm. The boys are called Carl and Wilhelm. Now reach the English part. Robert is a businessman. He is an Englishman. He is not a German. His office is in London. However, he does not live in London. The suburb where the Clark family lives is not far from London. Mr. Clark is married. His, wife, his wife's name is Helen Clark. Mr. and Mrs. Clark have four children, two boys and two girls. The boys are called Charles and William. That is the story and that is how it is written here. Now I'm reading through. Everybody worldwide, please listen to me carefully. Don't repeat it after me. Just listen to it. Download it and read it later. I mean, keep practicing it the way I have read it. Unfortunately, there is somebody cutting wood in the forest opposite my house. He's making so much noise, but I still have to do the recording. So let's just learn and not, not listen to the noise up outside there. Wer ist Herr Clark? Robert Clark ist Kaufmann. Er ist Engländer. Er ist kein Deutscher. Sein Büro ist in London. Er wohnt aber nicht in London. Der Vorort, wo die Familie Clark wohnt, ist nicht weit von London. Herr Clark ist verheiratet. Seine Frau heißt Helen Clark. Herr und Frau Clark haben vier Kna äh Kinder. Zwei Knaben und zwei Mädchen. Die Knaben heißen Karl und Wilhelm. I'm repeating it. Robert Clark ist Kaufmann. Er ist Engländer. Er ist kein Deutscher. Sein Büro ist in London. Er wohnt aber nicht in London. Der Vorort, wo die Familie Clark wohnt, ist nicht weit von London. Herr Clark ist verheiratet. Seine, seine Frau heißt Helen Clark. Herr, Herr und Frau Clark haben vier Kinder. Zwei Knaben und zwei Mädchen. Die Knaben heißen Karl und Wilhelm.
We are continuing. The other was up to 10. These are smaller boards that I have used in order to be able to continue from the main board from 10 to 20. So this is a smaller board and this is a smaller board. So I've combined them to make things easier for us. Instead of cleaning and then over, over I'm doing the recording on my own. So I have to bear with me. Let's go. What is important is the language. Um, where is my pointer? Okay, so let's go. Now we are continuing with the girls. The Mädchen heißen Marie und Anna. So no, nobody should uh, don't uh, repeat it after me. Uh, just repeat it. Those in their homes learning, you may repeat it after me. My boys repeat it after me. But don't make too much noise. Let's go. The Mädchen heißen Marie und Anna. The Mädchen heißen Marie und Anna. So this is not B, it's SS. So when I was teaching ABC, I told everybody in the world that this is double S. That is why the girls are called Mary and Anna. The Mädchen heißen Marie und Anna. The Mädchen heißen, heißen Marie und Anna. Herr Clark ist 40 Jahre alt. Herr Clark ist 40, 40 Jahre alt. <laughs> So now <laughs> that is how everybody is struggling to pronounce them. But I would also have time for you to be able, just as you are not pronouncing it well, the same thing happening elsewhere. So I'll also help you pronounce them properly. Mr. Clark is 40 years old. Herr Clark is 40 Jahre alt. Her clock is 40 years out. Read it. Her clock is 40 years out. Beautiful. His wife is um, 36 years old. This is 36. Seine Frau is 36 years out. Go. Seine, seine Frau ist 36 Jahre alt. Beautiful. Charles is 12 years old. Carl is 12 Jahre alt. Carl is 12, 12, 12, 12 Jahre alt. Wilhelm is 10 years out. Wilhelm is 10 years out. Marie is 8 years out. Marie is 8 years out. Anna is 4 years out. Anna is 4 years out. Yare out. Yare out. Years old. Years old. Anna is four years old. Anna is four years out. Anna is four years out. Yare. 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 Years. English. Dutch. Yare. 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 This is not J as is pronounced in English. So you can't say Jare. Is Y when it comes to Dutch. So when you see J in German text, it's pronounced Y. So Jahre. Pronounce it. Jahre. Out. Anna is vier Jahre out. 
Anna is here, Yare out. Now listen to me. All of them, apart from Anna, go to school. Ale, Auza, Anna. Monka. Ale, Auza, Anna. Gehen zu Schule. Gehen zu Schule. Gehen zu Schule. Gehen zu Schule. Alle Auza Anna gehen zu Schule. Alle Auza Anna gehen zu Schule. Alle Auza Alle Auza Anna gehen zu Schule. Omo nina chese Anna he ene enko school. Anna geht nicht zu Schule. Anna geht nicht zu Schule. Anna enko school. Anna geht nicht zu Schule. Anna geht nicht zu Schule. Anna geht nicht zu Schule. Anna seit Anna, Anna geht nicht zu Schule. Not zu, es ist zu. zu. Zu Schule. Anna geht nicht zu Schule. Anna geht nicht zu Schule. Sie ist. Where is my marker? Sie ist noch zu jung für die Schule. Huh? She is still too young for the school. Sie ist noch zu jung für die Schule. Sie ist noch zu jung für die Schule. Sie. Sie. Ist. Ist. Noch. 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 Zu. Zu. Jung. Jung. Für. Für. Die Schule. Die Schule. Sie ist noch zu jung für die Schule. Sie ist noch. Zu 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 jung für die Schule. Sie ist noch zu jung für die Schule. Sie ist noch zu jung für die Schule. Okay, now I'm reading it alone. Now let me read the English part. The girls are named Mary and Anna. Uh, in English you say Anne. The girls are named Mary and Anne. Mr. Clark is 40 years old. His wife is 36 years old. Charles is 12 years old. William is 10 years old. Mary is 8 years old. Anne, Anne is 4 years old. All except Anne go to school. Here I've written Anna. Oh, is it? It's Anne. Anne. All except Anne go to school. Anna does not go to school. I've written, I'm used to saying Anna, so when I've written Anna, well, whichever way. Some people spell it H-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Hannah. Others spell it A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Others spell it Ann, A-N-N. Others spell it A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. The book with which I'm teaching you, it is spelled Ann like this, but I'm not used to that. That's why I say, I mistakenly write Anna. So whichever way, let's move. What we are saying is, Anna does not go to school. Oh she is still too young for school. Z is not too young for Shule. Sorry, it's here. Z is not too young for the Shule. She is still too young for school. So that is how it is. I'm reading over the German. Thereafter, we go to how to enter into conversation with uh, when you find yourself especially in Germany. When you find yourself freshly in Germany, some few words that you would need, you will come to that very soon. Let's go once again. Die Mädchen heißen Marie und Anna. 
The girls are called Mary and Anna. Her clerk is 30 years old. Mr. Clark is 40 years old. Seine Frau is 36 years old. His wife is 36 years old. Carl is 12 years old. Charles is 12 years old. Wilhelm is 10 years old. William is 10 years old. Marie is 8 years old. Mary is 8 years old. Anna is 4 years old. Anna is 4 years old. Ali Alza Anna gained to Shuli. Or, with the exception of Anna, go to school. Or, Anna does not go to school. All, all of them go to school with the exception of Anna. Ali Alza Anna gained to Shuli. Anna did not to Shuli. Anna does not go to school. She is not too young for the Shuli. She is still too young for the school. Well done.